criminal trespass to dwelling from 2006. Right, I need to take a break. This man right now is having a stare down with me. It's very disrespectful. He pounded his fist. Frankly, it makes me scared. Mr. Brooks, ask your next question. I'm going to get to it. Who is you? Uh, Daryl Brooks, the defendant, seated at the table. Um, let the record reflect that I do not identify by that name, nor do I know anybody by that name. Where's the injured party? Is the injured party present in, in, in court right now? Can anyone, can anyone make a claim against me? Can you make a claim against me, Your Honor? And because of that, Your Honor, the motion to dismiss should be granted based on that alone. There's, there's no injured party in this matter. So who makes the claim? Who? And that your test result was hand delivered to you, folded. Did you receive that? Uh, I was made aware of, of my test. I didn't look at it yet, so. Do you have it with you? It is, it's in my paperwork somewhere. All right, I need you to uh, locate it and open it up, please. Um, may I ask the reason why that would be? Mr. Brooks, you raised this issue yourself, and I'd like to know um, the result. I would too, but I was kind of in the middle of preparing for my defense, so I... Mr. Brooks, find the piece of paper and open it up and read it, please. Your Honor, I don't consent to being talked to in that fashion. Your lack of consent is noted for the record. So today's your first time seeing any of this footage? Yes. Mr. Green, have you ever been convicted of a crime? Yes. Do you remember what you did when the vehicle passed you? Yes. You state for the record what you did immediately following the, uh, the vehicle passing you? I ran to see if my kids were okay. <laughs> Don't nobody, ain't nobody gonna talk to me like that. Nobody. I don't have a problem with doing what you ask me to do, not tell me. Just like when I ask you about subject matter jurisdiction that you have yet to prove on the record. But somehow I'm being intentionally disruptive. Of, uh, come on, man. Stop. Just stop it. Do you have any requests? First of all, to the, all, related what? to the jury instructions, sir. Man, yeah, yeah, I got, I got requests. It, it ain't like they're gonna be honored though, because as nothing, it nothing, relates nothing, to the fun. jury instructions, it's sir, what are you? I heard what the hell you said, man. Well, Mr. Brooks, that was very disrespectful. Yeah, and you and I've been getting disrespected since the beginning of this whole process. So welcome to the club, Mr. Brooks. Do you have any requests? As it relates to the jury instructions, I'll unmute you for that answer. I can't hear anything you're saying. Mr. Brooks, since you think you know so much, Once so again, we can Mr. open Brooks the door on. We can loud, open the door on how old she told me she was. Interrupting. We, we can ask he's, that question he is to me. Over the top, Did you animated. That? Do you right know now. that? Mr. Brooks, I'm ordering you to sit down and to let the state no, finish. No, I'm not going to sit here and let somebody be inaccurate on the record and lie on the record. Right. It's not a game. We, I don't take I this as a game. That's what, that's what nobody, that's what nobody, you don't got to explain nothing to me. Do you want that's to, what you don't understand. You think you that this is a whole game to, to me. Question? This is not a game to me, Your Honor. Not, nothing about this is a joke. I never that's what y'all don't joke. understand. But and it's unfair, it's unfair, on. and it's disrespectful to me that you think I would come in here purposely and treat this like a joke or a game. I never said it was a what joke. Type, what, type, what, type of, what type of statement is that? Mr. Your life is not on the line. Mine is. And you think that I, I think this is funny? I don't think it's funny whatsoever. So I, so I think, Your Honor, with all due respect, I think you so should show some take respect. take a five-minute break. Do we take up? Potential as to a uh, witness by the name of Ava Lescano. He has prior criminal history. Thank you. So as long as the jury's out, we should probably discuss that. I would like to provide the defendant and the court with 
So that had to be that had to be said. So it's the defendant. That's not how it was said. That, that was how I said. You want to run the record back? Mr. Brooks. So I'm the only one. I got one. Mr. I got Brooks. one ear there working. I heard that. This on, is man. to benefit on, you so that no, you not. understand Ain't none your of this to witness me, so let's has be clear a prior about that. record. Criminal trespass to dwelling from 2006. Right, I need to take a break. This man right now is having a stare down with me. It's very disrespectful. He pounded his fist. Frankly, it makes me scared. But you have yet to answer one question that I've asked you. You have yet to verify anything. You can take him back to the other uh, room that has been disrupted. You have even honored my request to make an offer for my for my appeal. Thank you, ladies you and gentlemen. We'll have to clear uh, the that. court right now. The record should reflect that my, my rights are being trampled on. The record should reflect that, that I don't agree to a stop it. Nothing about this protocol then would limit his access to any of his discovery materials, correct, ma'am? Objection. Um, overruled. She may answer. Objection. Overruled. She may answer. Yes, ma'am. And there would be nothing that would uh, restrict his ability to come to court each day? Objection. Uh, overruled. She correct, ma'am. The 10th count of the information in this case charges that Darrell E. Brooks on or about Sunday, November 21 of 2021 on Main Street in the city of Waukesha, Waukesha County, Wisconsin, did recklessly endanger the safety of Maura Gilchrist. At one point, he took off a shoe and it appeared uh, to the deputies that he was going to throw the shoe.